YouTube, this is the Kamikaze, and as you can see, I'm here with a new game, Space Pirates and Zombies. And this is the version 1.6 patch, which includes, which is probably my favorite update, a modding tool. Now, I am at, actually at the end game on one of the, under, one of the later chapters, where you gain access to huge vessels and limitless, well not limitless, but lots and lots and lots of res. And here is the excellent part. If you notice, I have eight hangers. And if you have no idea what this, what any of this is, you should not be watching this video. Watch some other, watch a Let's Play first, or play it. But as you can see, I have eight hangers. I have cheated all the way up here, because you see, you have cheated. You have been cheating. I have cheated my way all the way up here to gain access to all the all the ships in the game, including the bounty hunter ships. And most of the weapons, I am pretty sure. I'm thinking I might have added new weapons, so I'm not uh, completely sure about that. So. That's not why I'm here. I'm not here to. I'm. I might do a gameplay. Might not. The thing is, I have eight hangers. Those of you who have played this know you have four hangers at the end of the game when you have the Clockwork Two. I have eight, and that's where my modding comes in. Today, I'm going to do a t uh, my tutorial, uh, which is what I'm thinking about turning my um, personal channel into, like a tutorial channel for like Minecraft or whatever, like installing mods or modding anything. So this is this is pretty much just a quick tutorial of how the modding tools work in Space Pirates and Zombies. You can download them if you've already bought the game. You can download the uh, download them from the site. You just click the... I'll show you the... I'll put a link in the description and I'll like show you it in my out of game screen thing. So as you can see, I have not just eight hangers, but I have eight huge hangers. Anyone who knows anything about naval combat or basically war in general knows you need to have just not just massive, massive tanks, or massive, massive warships, or massive, massive planes to blow up everything. You actually need to have some kind of discretion, uh, like infantry support, armor, like light armor support, machine gun support, blah, 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 whatever. Yeah, I say screw that. I now have eight huge battleships. This is the Hammerhead, turret, ma turret vessel, star cruiser, forward firing destroyer, uh, carrier craft, basically. I didn't. I forgot to. Sorry. Whoops. And as you can see, I have all the required stuff and things. And ting. Large cloaked fighter drones. I'll put another uh, bomber mount there. Why the hell not? This is the uh, carrier, basically. This is called the carrier, but this is actually more like a missile platform. This is the freighter, which I use. This is a support vessel, as you can see. I have two massive, massive boosters on it. Some uh, point defense, some scanners, some leech beams to support the ship. Some hunter SRMs to take out zombies and find cloaked vessels. Some tractor beams I can use to, sh to suck up all the goons and res that stuff dr that drops from this from enemy flyers. This is the manta ray, and it's also a cloaked vessel, which is why I have this devastating first strike weapon. It's the large energy burst cannon, blah, 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 heavy energy usage. I should probably have changed it to the fusion beam, but meh. It took me forever. This is my, like, secondary uh, combat warship brawler thing with a bunch of fusion beams and leech beams on top of it. This is my primary vessel. It has a bomber mount in the center here, a very large bomber mount, a bunch of, like, these little boosters and a tractor beam, some turrets out, out, out front of it. And so basically, this fleet, I haven't tested it obviously because I just got this, but this fleet will pretty much wipe out anyone in your path. They are, these ships are not indestructible, but at this rate, who gives a crap? This, look, look at it, eight, count them, eight huge vessels, like each one almost the size of my mothership. Well, not almost, but like close to the size of my mothership at the very least. Yeah, that's that's easily enough to take down like the largest, most powerful bounty hunter base, coupled with a massive, massive zombie infestation. Not that I'll show you right now, but because as you can see, I've been clearing the inner galaxy of the bounty hunter and zombie threat. And I'm about halfway done at the moment. So uh, what I'm doing now is I'm just gonna save my game real quick right here, and my I just called it OP because it's o it's just overpowered. Let's face it, I tried doing a let's play on this thing like a couple of times, but I even I just end up getting bored. Right, but I think I like tutorials better. Hmm. I think I'm better at tutorials. Anyway, I'm going to quit out this game, and then I'm going to show you what how to actually use the mods. 
and I'll be right right here we are on my desktop my um, laptop home screen this is my steam thing and I have a bunch of games like down here not important not that's not what I'm that's not what I'm here for this this is okay hold on let me just show you real quick the yes I have a Taylor Swift background shut up this is the spaz mod package that you download from the website which I'll show you in a second second minute same difference when you open it up this is what happens with uh, wins you can o you open up uh, rar files and zip files with winzip or winrar or 7zip but you can download if on windows anyway i'm not doing a mac lp uh, lp i'm doing i'm not doing a mac tutorial cuz obviously i don't have a mac and this is what comes in the original this is the readme it tells you place files in folder where direct is blah 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 and this is the two things they give you and this is the uh, document uh, Microsoft Windows thing document file Windows documenter. This this is where I record all my stuff. This is the behind the scenes folder. So this is gaming. This is where I installed all my stuff. Blah blah blah. And space pirates and zombies on a spaz. So where you want to go is where you ever you installed. I installed it on J, which is an external file, uh, external hard drive, because my computer's running out of space. You go to mods, and you should you should spawn spawn. You should start out with winter holiday and Halloween mod packs. They basically are like texture packs. Um, people, the person did it, the min max did it, just as a thing. And so you want to do is you want to open up spaz spaz uh, underscore mod underscore package, or you can, you can just drag this into here, or as I did it, you can open it up, select both of these, then drag them both in here, which I already did. And this is the template file, which has all of this good stuff, and the sample, the simple example file. I'm not going to be going into the, any of the higher level stuff because I've only figured this. I've only just started doing this, and I've figured out like a tiny bit of it. This is all the stuff here. It tells you here disclaimer agreement and the inner setup, the mod and directory, spaz root install, and this is all the stuff you need to copy into it. So basically, what you want to copy into it, I'm going to do a full thing, why the hell not? Basically when you copy into it, it's when you go into the template file, you want to copy into uh, these four files first. Uh, you need these four files. You need all the files basically in this place. I don't know if you need all of them, but well, you'll need the ones that you're going to mod modify. So obviously manage, I have no idea what this is. This is like all the stuff. Uh, this is probably like the how to mod other stuff. Anyway, I'll get into that once I figure it out. Game scripts. This is what I've been using. If you go to global .tuning, uh, global .tuning .cs, you have to open it. Okay, let me show you how to do it. You have to, on Windows, you click it, you right-click it, you hit Properties, uh, you wait for it to pop, you hit Change, and then you just basic, you hit Change, waiting for it to think, because my computer's kind of slow. Okay, so usually you just have a whole bunch of stuff up here. I have the Document Converter and Dreamweaver. These are the two that I um, was given as recommended programs. You hit this right here to go down to the other programs, and you pretty much want to find Notepad, or you can use WordPad, I think, as well. But I prefer Notepad because it's easier to use. And Notepad is the universally useful text editor. Editor. There we go. Universal text editor. Editor program. And you want to use that or use whatever text editing you have. You open this up, and it tells you all this stuff you like, blah, 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 blah. Spaz is up to. Yes, yes, we know. Okay. So, and this is the one, this is the test. So, what you want to do now is that it has these things, the mod setup.cs, uh, loaded before any script execute, just leave this blank, and you want to have allows debug, debug spawning true. That allows you to test, like, whatever you're modding, whatever you're gonna look at. And as far as I know, that's all the, uh, document file tells you. I haven't read the rest of it yet. I'm going to one day. Don't worry. I'm going to do a full tutorial. Right now I'm just doing a basic tutorial and stuff that you might want to use. You want to go to globaltuning.cs. It says, but it's up to game one slowly for people with more hangers active. Because you can see total I can get eight hangers, right? And you want to go up here and it goes, here's, uh, let me show you the default version of it, how it looks normally. Mods, template, data, 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 same difference. Wrong one. Game scripts, globaltuning.cs. You open this up, and this is how it looks normally without any of my modding, my shenanigans. So obviously, this is this just tells you the hanger sizes. 
And this is the list of default. It goes from 0 to 3, which is 4 total hangers. I'm not sure what happened to it. Uh, oh, here. Here we go. In chapter 4, this is, which, is, which is where I am, uh, you, this is ship uh, dollar sign whole type underscore huge, which is the largest you can get. You just uh, delete large, which is what I'm highlighting right here. And you type in huge, and you turn that to a huge hanger. And you can just keep going down, and to to modify it so that you can use these hangers down here, instead of having this as negative one and then semicolon, you delete the negative one, type or copy and paste this, and this is how I did it. This is just this is the easiest way. You just do this. You can you copy and paste by hitting Control C or Control V. You just select this here and hit Control V. Ta-da! Easy enough. And that's what you just do that over and over again to how many hangers you want. Again, it runs slower with eight hangers, which is the the uh, total possible. I think you might be able to add more. I don't know. I I'll try that later. So anyway, that's all I know for now. I can't. I don't know if there's probably a way to edit the other like game in-game uh, weapons and stuff. But I'll get to that when I figure that shit out. So you want to start out in Safari or whatever you use. I use Safari because I have all my stuff saved on it, and I have a bunch of, like, really nice, excellent, awesome, awesome stuff on it. Um, yeah. No, I just use this for longer, and I'm used to it. I'm used to the uh, UI. I'm used to all the all my stuff being right here because it's pretty convenient. So you just Google Spaz. You don't need to capitalize it or anything. I just do. Google Spaz, your search bar, and it'll Google eventually take you to this right here. You want to click the first one, the Space Pirates and Zombies. You click on that to spacepiratesandzombies.com, Spaz Home, and you kind of wait for it to render for a little bit. This is how you're supposed to get the update and you get the modding tools. And you want to go down to if you want to read the news. This is like this is basically the news. Yeah, you can make ships and weapons, but I haven't figured that out yet, so... Bear with me, I, I'll, I'll get it. I will get it. Eventually. Um, yeah. So, my computer's running slowly because I'm recording, and my computer's a piece of crap, and it's not working again. Great. I think my computer just absolutely hates, one, Safari, and two, this website. Ugh. Again, it's not working anymore. Damn. Um, a, oh, well. Is it really not going to work? Yeah, it's really not going to work. Okay. Uh, screw Safari. We're going to go use Firefox, because Firefox is awesome, and why the hell not? And that's the only other one I have installed that actually works correctly. Screw you, Internet Explorer. If any of you could understand that, I'll be very, very impressed. Because I could barely understand myself there. And don't mind all the other stuff here. This is like for Fallout and, um, what's it called? Minecraft. Minecraft. Hooray, Minecraft. And that's the Minecraft stuff there. And not not very important. I have a lot of stuff installed. Blah, blah, blah. Default browser. No, not today. Thank you very much, though. Spaz. See, I didn't capitalize. I didn't capitalize this time. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm so, I'm such a rebel. Such a rebel. Ah. Uh, Right. I could have cut this entire part out, but I'm going to make you sit through it anyway. You c Right now, it's a uh, discount. Yeah, promotion. Go space. Buy it. Go mid-max. Buy it. Buy it. It's, it's good. I'm not even kidding. It is a really good game. I've beaten the game before the latest updates. So you want to go. This is like a bunch of tabs here. All kinds of links. FAQ, media, about spaz, the homepage, the forums, the contact, the donations, swag. I have no idea what that is. That's, that's like basically the forums again, but it's like live chat. And you want to go to updates. You can also download a demo if you want. I'll link all this. Of course, I'll link all this in the description. You go to updates, and this is 1.5.1, and this is 1.1.600. You want to download this first, and then Spaz Mod Package. And when you hit it, this is what happens. And Spaz Mod Package zip. Open with. You want to hit Save File because you want to keep it. Well, I, I assume you want to keep it. And then hit OK, which I'm not going to do because I've already downloaded it. And when you download it, obviously it's doing all that other stuff. 
And so, again, we've seen how we can use the modding tools to go inside the game and pretty much just change from four hangers, each declining size, to eight hangers that are all huge. Yeah. So, well, that's probably all I have for now, and I'll keep updating my tutorials, and I'll continue with this, I'll continue on with this as, as long as I have more stuff to continue on with. I'm gonna keep reading this. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make you read all of this. If you can see it at all, I think that'd be unlikely, because my computer's not recording at full size right now. Right, and so that should be it for now. And if there's anything else, I'll come back and show you more. And, uh, have a good evening, everyone. Oh, one tiny last thing that I forgot. I just started editing my video. You can see it's right here. My uh, Windows Movie Maker right here. Magic. Yay. Uh, I forgot how to tell you how to activate these mods. Um, for those, It shouldn't be that difficult to figure out. But still, I'm feeling as the tutorialist person that I am trying to be right now. I am going to show you anyway. So you want to go into Steam or wherever you launch it. Just click play and launch the game. And when you launch the game you have to wait for it to actually launch. When you launch the game, it'll come up with like a launcher screen almost. Launcher screen-esque thing. Um, just wait for it. It's getting, it's getting, it's a little bit slow. I have so many programs open right now. I have Movie Maker, I have Firefox, I have Microsoft Word, I have Fraps Recording, I have Steam, and I have a bunch of stuff being opened inside stuff you can't see over here. Right, so this is what happens, space pirates and zombies, blah 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 blah, blah waiting for it. To, okay, so, and it, this is how you just, uh, just configure all your stuff, for compatibility mode. You might want to run it in this, because since if you have if you make all eight hangers, you want to run it in DirectX compatibility mode. You may or may not to, it, depending on how good your computer is. I would definitely want to, but I'm not going to right now. And you hit continue to launch the game, direct, like, uh, to continue to launch the game. You go to mod files, which is right here. It'll come up as none. Halloween, simple example, template mod, testo one, and put your holiday. I just noticed I forgot something else as well. I forgot to explain to you exactly what those mods files are used for. I am really forget. I need to start making a checklist. Next time I'll do that. I'll make. I'll, <laughs> I'll write a script. What the hell? Right, gaming J. Space pirates and zombies. Space pirates and zombies. Space pirates and zombies. Space pirates and zombies. Right. Game. No, that's not the right one. You have to go back to mods. Right. So this is you create a new folder. Obviously, you have to create a new folder. And what happens is, um, mod. DSC, which is description. Well, I think it's description. So. Basically, what you want to do is you want to test. You want to. This is the first line here. Will ha will be the um this the, the name of the mod, which is what is being viewed inside the launcher. Right here, Halloween or simple example or what else? Testo one, which is that, which is what I named it. And in this mod, you expand the membership hangers and make part. I didn't. I forgot to make the pirate boomerang look blue. That's not on my good goodbye. You're not going to be there anymore ever again. That's it. Expand Mothership Hangers. That's all I'm going to do. And so this is Test 01. You just call it whatever you want. Call it completely overpowered. Call it whatever. Right? And that's simple enough. And you want also when you want to save this. You always want to hit Control S and save it. Um, nothing else really. So yeah. And uh, once again, I'll bid goodbye to you the second time. Have a, have a good evening, guys.